Hey everyone, and welcome to the video. I'm North Central, and this is the Bergsville Covered Bridge, built in 1853. And what a wonderful bridge. 1853, that means it's over 170 years old, pre-Civil War, which means it's seen a lot. And actually, in the Civil War, in 1863, a family had to come here during what they call the Jones Raid of Fairmont, West Virginia, and protect the bridge because they thought it was going to be destroyed. So a lot of history here. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, don't go anywhere because right here we are. Let's take a gander underneath here. A little bit of weathering decay here on the outside. And oh, well, this is to be expected. It's been sitting here for a while. This is pretty advanced stuff though. Even this one here, I mean, inside here though this is good but it's starting to come over to this big beam here might want to do something about that sometime original stonework original placement you can see the the dowel rods that they use right the, the pin everything the pins the, the dowel pins there and even the ones coming in from up top that i showed you was going through the floor even one right here in the beams okay these big beams are all held together mostly by these dials. Some shims, shim work here. See the shims? Ooh, that one's even loose. And then these, uh, where it counts, these great big uh, uh, steel bolts, square headed bolts, one there, all the way through this beam over here. Same thing on the other side, all the way around, right? All the all the dowel pins, boom, boom, boom. Dowel pins on all these rafters going across. All this is woodwork. 170 years old, guys. This thing spans 146 feet across Buffalo Creek here. It's a pretty little creek. See a lot of the same stuff over here on the other side. Uh, some rot on there on the left and then all the original stonework coming down even on the other side there I'm sure there's a little bit of rot probably over on the other side too but every so often they got these every so often they got these uh, steel pins coming through keeping everything trying to keep everything straight and uh, right there in the center, of course, you can tighten that up and bring it in or out as it flexes. You can see this beam here coming down. They have repaired that one a little bit. See how they filled it. So the bridge has had a little bit of work, but they, they really did a lot of painstaking work here to try and keep this as original as they could. Just awesome work. Just awesome work. 146 feet long, 170 years old, 170 years plus. Awesome bridge. Barracksville Covered Bridge. Built in 1853. See the old, old timber works, right? All this has been replaced. This is still original. This right here, this piece of wood. See the wooden, wooden dowels, all those spikes that were sticking out underneath? That would be what they spike down with it. Let's make sure we take a little bit closer look here. You can see right up here. Right here where they, they put these two trusses together, right? Right here, there's a piece of wood sticking through right here with a slot. You can see the slot here on this side. See the slot right there? 
come over here to the other side. That whole beam right there, right? It's resting right up against, right up against those pieces of wood. And of course, it X's there in the center with a steel reinforcement right there in the center drilled down through the two so it don't move. And of course, it comes over to this one that does the same thing with the wood, beam, wood sticking through there. Now remember, this was built in 1853. Nails were a premium, especially at this time. Huge, massive beams. And just so you get a, an idea of how big these beams are, here's the size of my hand. Now I'm six foot. That's a pretty good size beam for 1853. But that beam right there, the big arch beam, one on this side, and of course one on this side, that's what bears your weight. Everything's connected to it somehow, some way. Ten, seventeen, twenty-one. That's a new one. Beth and Jeff Donathan. I want to see some old ones. I don't know if I can see some old ones. You can see some some nails in here where they've nailed certain different things to it over the years. Looks like there's some time there was something went down through here. They've all been taken off now. Stuart, no date. Old, old bridge. And that's, that's interesting how they... There's some more of the, uh, the dowel work right there where they got a dowel pin going through there. And there. On every single one. It's all the same. Now the roof, of course, has been replaced. These beams here are original. Of course, these big beams here, they were all original. The outside wood has all been replaced. The floor, you know, I don't know if the floor is original. But it's pretty dang old. It's got the wooden stakes going through. Great big slabs of sandstone cut, milled. It's wild to think, 1853, right? I don't know what that, that says. E. I don't know. Hey guys, if you liked the video, please go right on over and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out, helps the video, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't done so already, Go on over and hit that subscribe button. Right beside it's a little bell. Hit the bell and select all notifications. And also, don't forget about the Teespring store where you can get North Central merchandise if you want to. Of course, again, you can see the, the pylons here. They've put down. The bridge is no longer in service to the community. A little bit of deterioration here. Somebody needs to do a little, little bit of work. It's a little soft. But yeah, look at the old, old, old timbers. These old, old timbers. I mean, there's nails all over these where they've nailed something up on it. Uh, but there's very, very few nails in this structure at all. Like I said, it's mostly these wooden 
wooden pins. And you've got the, the square head nails, okay, holding it in. And these beams like this, right? I mean, there's, there's no nails or anything holding this. This is slammed in there. This notch is cut out here. It's put right in there in its place, right? Fashioned in its place. Come up here with this one here like so. This is two pieces going through each other and then up there on those with a great big massive iron bolt going through it. Big steel, uh, big uh, uh, square headed bolt. You can tell they're old because they're they're square. They're all square. And really, really rusted. Some of them may have been replaced, but they're still square. Old, old beam. All these really, really old beams. See how they, see how they, they notched it, right? Put that beam in, it's right there. And it's in its place. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing there holding this except the notches that they made. I mean, I, I imagine that this is, they notched this back this way so that this beam is actually sitting back inside this. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I love the construction of this, right? This beam, you can see where it's resting on here, but it's notched. It goes all the way down inside this pocket. Our ancestors knew what they were doing when it came to engineering. I mean, like I said, there's not a whole lot of nails here. I mean, if you look at the nails, square head nails, they're not round. Big square headed uh, bolts. Beautiful old bridge. Again, all of this was replaced. Oh, look. There's actually an old one of the old dowel pins used for something just sitting there. That's pretty awesome. That's a big piece of history right there. They had to splice this one, put this new piece in here, and they grooved it and put a piece of i'm sure a piece of metal or something in there and put that but they had to fix that that was probably rotted out of course near the ends of the woods always a little bit more weathered you can see the the weathering up and down this beam and this beam and of course out here in the back outside this piece right here was actually replaced at one time you can see it's been cut here, right? And a new piece put in. This piece is definitely newer than this piece. Same thing over here. All right? This piece has been replaced at some time. A little bit of a rotten issue there. Might have to take this one up higher. That's a lot of rot right there. That's really, really soft. Really, really soft in there. But for the most part, she's original. I mean, where it counts, all the beam work, you know, besides the siding and the roof and all that, I mean, all that, you know, you, you expect that stuff to go because it's out in the weather all the time. But this inner stuff, most of that's original. The, the whole beam's there. Going around, that's all original. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. This is the Barracksville Covered Bridge here in Barracksville, just outside Fairmont, West Virginia. Built in 1853, 170 years old, seen the Civil War, and a bunch of other history. Come on down and check it out. Really, really an interesting place. I love these covered bridges. Just uh, to see the workmanship and how they built them back in the old days. 
using just wood. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you.